let g of x be a transformation on f of x equals 1 over x, shift it down 4 units, and left 1 unit. Graph g of x and write the equation of the function. All right, so let's start with some explorations. We have the function f of x equals 1 over x graphed here on the grid in green. And you should know to expect this shape because this is a rational function. This is one of the common functions that we want to be familiar with the general shape. And so this is the most basic form of it, the parent function 1 over x. And now we want to transform it or specifically translate it by shifting it to the left one unit and down four units. So I have another version of the function down here, g of x, and now you can see when I turn this on, it's in red. So that's my function g. And I have it set up so that I can subtract the value a and add a value b. So notice that the a is being subtracted from the x value in the denominator under one. And the b is being added to the entire function outside, so it's going to affect the y values. Now down underneath where we have x minus a, you might be wondering why I have x minus a and then a plus b. Why are these different signs? Well, let's just make it a plus right now. And let's say that I'm going to move my g function to the left, right? And so I go up here to change the, the value that's going to be added onto my x. And I say, let's move the x to the left. So in other words, let's make it, make it smaller. And that means we're subtracting. So I start moving the a towards negative values, thinking it's going to move to the left. Well, what do you know? It moves the opposite of what I was thinking, right? Um, so I actually need to make this a positive one if I want it to move to the left. So that's kind of strange, right? Well, that's why when you see um, the general form of translation functions to take a basic function, uh, parent function, for instance, f, you would always subtract a value from x to get it to move to the right and add a value of x to get to move to the left. So basically the opposite sign of what you're thinking. And hopefully it'll make more sense now if you see that I have now 1 x over x minus a. And when I move to, uh, when I move my a value to negative 1, it's now moving to the left like I expected, right? So when a is the value negative 1 and I plug it into the function down here, 1 over x minus a, well, I'm subtracting a negative 1. So when I have a minus minus 1, minus a negative 1, it'll become a plus 1. All right, now let's talk about moving it up or down by shifting the y values or the entire function is going to get shifted. All the function values or the y values are going to get shifted up or down by adding a value to the outside. Now I want to shift it down 4 units, so I'm going to move the b value towards negative 4, and you can see that as I move towards negative values, it is shifting down. So when it comes to shifting vertically, the sign of the value that's being added onto the function is true to the direction it's going to be moving. And that's why we have a plus b instead of a minus b. And so if I set the b at negative 4, and if I were to plug into this uh, general function I've made, a plus a negative 4 would just become minus 4. So this is the equation of my transformed function. So 1 over the quantity x plus 1 and then on the outside minus 4. And I'll turn off f of x so we can just see g of x now and this is what it looks like. Now you might be wondering well what if I'm not doing this with GeoGebra because obviously if you're taking a test usually you're not allowed to use something like GeoGebra. Um, so if you're even doing this on paper and pencil consider that you should have already realized that the function would look like 1 over x. It should look like this general shape, right? And that um, you can plot a few points on the original function, for instance. So let's go back to the original function for a moment. And let's say I plot a few ordered pairs. And any value that you plug in for x then the y value is going to be the reciprocal, or 1 over that value. So the point where x is 2 
then of course the y value would be flipping that over one over two. And so that's the point A right there. Now, if I wanna transform it one unit to the left or make my x value go smaller by one unit, then I would be taking the y value, or I'm sorry, the x value of two, subtracting one to get a new x value of one. And likewise for the y value, if I wanna shift that down four units, I'm gonna take one half or 0.5 and subtract four, leaving me with negative 3.5 as the new y coordinate. So now you can see if I turn on my g function and the b value, that is the point a translated to where the g function is. And so you could do that with enough points just to give you a good idea of where to sketch your new transformed function. So the finished product looks like this and I've got it right here for us. It's written out more explicitly. The function g of x, the equation is one over the quantity x plus one minus four. And here is what the finished product looks like when graphed.